Good morning and a huge warm welcome to Carnation Crafts. We're live in the Carnation Crafts studio and as always it is wonderful to have your company. It's been a while since I've said that. We are here with Golden Age. Guys, there's a little bit of a rush on now because we've already sold 60% of the main bundle and we have already sold 75% of the standing tall die as well. So the main bundle, the main collection, which is Flying Like Bilio Golden Age Collection 231201, and that's $89.99. That's going to go up to $99.99, I would imagine, by midnight on Friday. The combined price, if you were to buy these individually, is coming in at $129.93. So you're getting an extraordinary discount, free UK PMP on a collection that has been nothing short of spectacularly popular. It's time to get it into your basket, guys, because it is going to go. But so is the standing tall card shape. That's a separate item. I am going to go through everything and the boards with you, but you need time to be able to go and grab it. Standing tall is 231209. Show price today of $27.99. If you buy that on its own, it's going to come in at a 295 UK P and P. And that's because it's under the £50 threshold. You don't have huge amounts of time. We've only got two shows live today on the Carnation channel. If you want to get it from Carnation, now is the time. We're going to show you a short VT so you can see exactly what this is about. So you've got time to go and grab it. See you in a minute. None of you can see while the music to all of this intro plays and to the VT is Miss Taz in the corner shimmying and dancing every single time, which never fails to make me laugh because I don't think she knows I can see. Right, so Golden Age, what is it all about? We have got this gorgeous, huge Golden uh, Age collection, which is all about Art Deco. It's beautiful, all of that 1920s. Um, it's, it's really, um, it's luxury, isn't it? There's something really luxurious about this collection. It's very, thank you, Miss Taz. It's very pretty. It's very elegant. It's about party time, but it can go across the board. So we can use it for sympathy. We can use it for celebration. We can use it for anniversaries, weddings, birthdays. So it's going to fit all of those boxes for us as well. Gorgeous, perfect papers. Can I just give you a shout to grab your perfect papers because they really are stunning. So I'm just going to have a look at some of these uh, these um, finished samples for you because a lot of your inspiration is going to come from these finished samples. Just to remind you all that any finished samples that are done by our DT team, please do check that they are done by the DT team. And the DT team will post and say that it is their cards. Once that's in the group, you are allowed to use these cards for your own inspiration. That's absolutely fine. Along with anything that I make, you are allowed to use it. That's a platform. So if you are just learning and you're just starting to understand, use them as education tools to help you progress on your carnation journey. But look at some of the details on these. These are absolutely exquisite. You've got those gorgeous tones coming through, that beautiful peach color and the honey tones coming through. All of those very, very gorgeous Art Deco pieces, this main card shape that comes from the stepper from the Orchid Rays card shape is beautiful. That, that filigree is something else, right? Remember your sentiments sitting there on those stepped mats. And if you look at that again, that 3D formation that comes in those letters, it's 3D illusion writing. So it looks like they're protruding from there and in actual fact, they are obviously flat. I want to talk to you a little bit about color tone in this collection and how your perfect papers are going to drive what you make as well in a really positive way. Let's just separate these two out. This, we're going to focus on some black today as we go through this collection and some of the demos, certainly the first one I do, is going to focus in on that dark colour and that tone that we get for masculine cards. 
This card particularly with that gold finish is just extraordinary, isn't it? Very, very beautiful. The top hat, those brogues, you've got the lady shoes, the perfume bottle, the fan, all of the luxury we would expect from an Art Deco collection along with iconic geom uh, geometric lines. So this is really, it's just perfect, isn't it? And I said yesterday, I said it in the Facebook Live, if we're going to have a collection of something along the lines of an Art Deco, you know, sort of theory, or, you know, that kind of line. We want it to come from Carnation because we know we're going to get the quality, but we know we're going to get the attention to detail. Attention to detail is really important for our finishes because if we don't have it, our finishes aren't as good as we would want them to be. So when we get that finish from Carnation, we get to finish as well in the same way. We're going to have that beautiful quality. And it matters. It ma if we're paying money, right, we want to be able to produce the best. It does absolutely matter. And so far in my experience of card making, I've only really been able to get that finish from Carnation. Um, and it's important. It matters to me. I like things to be done well. And I like the finished, you know, sort of pieces that we get. Bringing in those shoes, those beautiful peach tones with that grey from the perfume bottle that sits so perfectly, freshening that up with those whites and yellows, that very rich gold tone. And actually, I have to say, as far as yellows go, they have hit gold so well, haven't they? It really does look like gold. And especially when you look at the wee florals coming through, they have got a very, very true gold tone in them. And I love it. If you want to take something a little bit lighter and go more in the line of clean, simple white lines, this is a perfect example of that. Using acetate to show those glasses as if they are actual glass. So you get the sheen on them that adds into that luxury, that little shine that peeks through that you can just see coming there. And then that white tone. Now mixing that in with the black at the back so you've got those layered apertures that come through. That gives a hint of tone, doesn't it? And then we brighten it and we freshen it with white on white, those yellows and those oranges. Orange and yellow are always, uh, sorry, orange and white will always stand in stark contrast in a really beautiful way. It's a very fresh way of crafting. And I love, love, love these samples. The DT team have excelled. Something quite simple from Fiona here. If you want to have a go and you want to do something small just to kickstart your collection and uh, clicks, kickstart, sorry, your, uh, your makes, this is a great idea. So what we've got here is you've got the beautiful skyline shape as such, the iconic Art Deco shape that we're getting uh, from your collection or this is from your, um, your add-on. Sorry, my brain is all of the fizzy this morning. Thank you, standing tall. And then we've got obviously your male mannequin. That's been decoupaged up twice. So we get the, the robust sort of formation from it. So always think about how you're going to make certain things stand out. So if you want to add in decoupage, that's a really good element to do it. It will make it just have more dimension and protrude it. You could also, if you wanted to, do the same, but just use the, the jacket and get rid of the shirt for the inside. That will make the jacket stand further forward as well. So you can start to build up those decoupage elements. That way using a simple simple sentiment going across and then your added pieces at the bottom it's a small card it's using the stand as well from the standing tall collection so we can bring that into play and that's going to allow everything to sit and stand but isn't that a beautiful card I think that's really lovely. It would make a gorgeous gift tag, wouldn't it, as well? There's just ways of playing with it that allow us to change formation, size and shape. And it comes together very, very well. Using those gold tones here, look at this. From the lovely Janine. Couple of dew drops. Doesn't it change it? The olive sitting there. When I talk about attention to detail, when we're talking about carnation and kind of the differences that we get in that way, if you look at that glass there with the olive sitting in it down to the point that we've got the little cocktail stick going through the olive, that's the attention to detail we're talking about. That's the difference between Carnation and any other company, the fact that we get that detailing down to the bottom here of the glass where you've even got the detailing there. And if it wasn't there, you probably wouldn't notice it as much. You know, you wouldn't maybe notice that it wasn't there. But the point is, because it's there, we take in, we absorb that detail. And it's that that gives us those finishes, isn't it? It's that that makes that perfection at the end of the cards. Really, really important. Then we've got your oval shape. Now this is the inside of the stepper. This is the lovely Vera Bow that's done this for us. That middle panel on that stepper. So looking in at your perfume bottle, which is your grounding device at the bottom there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Taz. 
along with your shoes to just finish it off. Now Vera's taken the plinth from one of your other pieces which is from the standing tall and she's just used the baseline from it to give a plinth for the mannequin to stand. So remember snip ability every time with carnation. You can snip into everything and you can really use those elements in different ways. Simple fan behind which allows that to, the piece at the front to really stand out because we're using a kind of white tone on white so to speak and so we allow that fan to push that forward visually. Dark sentiment which draws in the dress. You can see how all the colours are drawing each other together and the yellow flowers here which bring in the base, the baseline of the dress and the fan at the back. Everything working together. It's clever isn't it? And it's sometimes we need to break down those details in our head and say how is it working? How is it so clever? How do they look so amazing? And it's daunting when we first start making cards in case we can't do it, but with Carnation we can because that's what makes the difference. Their artwork, their choice of colorways takes away the headache for us in having to work out whether or not this will work. We know it's going to work. So then we get the freedom to play. And I like that. I like the fact that we've got freedom to play. I will say making Carnation cards is a lot less of a headache than making Lego buildings as I've suddenly been discovering with my children. Not easy for a brain like mine. Look at this. Those lines on those perfect papers. And they almost give a look of filigree, don't they? And that is your perfect paper use. It looks like a filigree sample, but in actual fact, that is your printed perfect paper. They're so important, your perfect papers this time. Grab them, grab them, grab them. That beautiful fan line coming round, remember to bring all of your fans. You can do four together to create a really robust uh, fan line, but you can also concertina those to create a different effect as well. Time to party, of course, and then your perfume bottle just sitting at the bottom. That flow line that comes down here that allows the sentiment here, so you've got that baseline we're drawing out, and that obviously matches in composition wise with your two points here. So everything drawn out at that baseline to give you the visual V upwards, and it draws your eyes where it's meant to go. Thank you to Pim for that, uh, Pam for that one. The brain went then. Two more and then we're going to get on with the boards and show you what it is exactly that you're getting in this collection. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Soft toned. Soft, soft tones. If you think of uh, things like Oh So Chic, where you've got the lipsticks and the other pieces as well, where you could bring these in, wouldn't a lot of this collection look lovely on the Oh So Chic mirror as well? So again, all the different threads that are sewn through the Carnation tapestry, we get to draw all of those together and it's just stunning. Soft, soft colours, very, very tonally rich. And then finally, this one, which I think is dazzling. I, th I really do think it's just beautiful from Fiona, where again, we bring in those rich gold tones with those dark backgrounds. And again, those blue flowers that look like enamel brooches, drawing in all of the colors. Isn't it exquisite? Grounding all that out with a fan at the bottom, which draws your eye up. Time to party. Beautiful samples, aren't they? The DT team are so strong with Carnation. They've never failed to shock me every time I get uh, my next set, you know, and I see those DT samples and I'm just like, oh, these guys have got talent beyond. They are so clever. But the same goes for you in the group as well, because when I look at your samples, because obviously the inspiration of seeing each other's, because we don't craft the same, we have different styles. And I think, again, one thing that makes Carnation stand out to me is it doesn't, you know, I like clean and simple and I like white on white. I've always enjoyed that. I like chunky cards, um, but we don't all craft that way, right? You know, some of us are like very different shapes and styles. So to be able to see that and to see how we all kind of manipulate the Carnation dies in a way that suits our style is testament to how, how brilliant Carnation dies are because you can't do that with every type, you can't. I know this from vast experience, you can't. It makes Carnation unique. Let's have a look at the boards so you can see what you're getting in this gorgeous, gorgeous collection. So you have got here, <coughs> excuse me, your Orchid Rays card shape, which is just stunning. It's a stepper card, that's Miss Taz's nails, in case you think I've suddenly grown another arm and had a manicure. Um, you've got that gorgeous Orchid Rays stepper card here. Now, it's clever. Hey, oh. 
oh, that's me earring. It's clever because it can be used in many, many different ways. Now, the side panels that you've got can be cut off and used independently. You can use the centerpiece independently. This stepper, it has got a score line here and a score line here, and then you can see the two folds here. Now, that's optional. I can fold this down and fold this one in, and you'll see it through demo, and that's gonna make these very short. They'll become squat. This part will cover a vast part of this to about there or I can fold that in the center and you'll get the full long line of that step. It depends what you want to do. You're in control of how it looks. We then have so many mats and layers here. So you've got your mats for each piece and a piece of filigree to match it, okay? And that is for your corner points, for your, it looks like a sunrise to me, for your sunrise point, and then for those ovals at the top so we can really start to build. The tabs allow you to just push those in, they're all scored, and that allows you to put that together. And we are gonna play with this card shape first, so you will see that coming into action. And we're gonna use those dark, dark tones so you'll see it all come together. Really pretty, absolutely stunning. On top of that, in that main daisy, uh, sorry, orchid rays card shape, you also have all of these florals and there's an absolute ton of them. They're so pretty. Those beautiful navy blues with that very rich gold tone and it is so true to gold with those whites. So everything gets cooled. You don't need to be kind of over faced with it. Putting these blues on top of the whites will give you a really gorgeous contrast as well. So you get to play with all of that. And these independently used are extraordinary. So you can see already just that one card shape, we're already getting our money's worth. This is an extraordinary card shape. We wouldn't expect anything less from Carnation, but it is extraordinary. And then you've got these two beautiful mannequins and they're so, so pretty. They're so well formed. You've got a matte layer for each one of them. Take a look on this board and start to take in the detail of the cut lines. So we've got that hemline coming through on the dress and a flow of fabric. Now, without actually looking at the artwork, you can see that that flow of fabric is already there just in that baseline. We can see it. There is already a flow. When that comes to life on the artwork, the vignette that you get from the Carnation Crafts website, you can really see that flow start to come through. So we've got fabric texture almost coming through that dress. And then that beautiful fur at the top as well. Really, really pretty, isn't it? Um, you've also got then the tuxedo, same thing. So you've got the dicky bow coming through at the front. All of these lines that allow us to pinch and place and cut and do to create different formations of dimension. And I love that. I love the fact that I can play with it in so many ways, that I can pinch and shape or I can leave it flat, I can do whichever in order to change the way it works. Add in two of these, but only one stand on decoupage will give you a different look. Again, with this lady, cut the if you cut this twice, cut down the dress line and cut this out twice, then you can raise that and that will really give it that flow. And on the top one, shape out the edges just here. And you'll get that bow line going round and it will form and it will be absolute perfection. It's so clever. It's so well, well made. Absolutely love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Possibly my favorite board of all. I just love the top hat. I really, I'm so smitten with, I love top hats anyway. There's something about them. I just love the way this has been formed. The shade lines coming in at the bottom are really, really beautifully done just to give it that kind of circular feel, doesn't it? It's really pretty. You could almost hear the hollowness of it if you were to tap on the top of it with the not like with a normal top hat. Those beautiful brogues that come through, you've got the double pair here and the single. These two, I don't know if you can see it, but they've got a little ground end device sitting on them as well. That helps us as crafters. That grounding device is going to allow us to put those shoes in alternative places. If you don't want them, you can, of course, snip them away. You'll just see little snip lines here, little pips that you can cut them away from. The beautiful cane, which is going to come in in a million different ways. We can use that for so many things. It's incredibly useful die to have. So that's a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous little die set. But we don't actually miss out on the feminine side of things. So we've covered the masculine, but then we get the feminine. Beautiful fan which looks a little bit like peacock feathers to me. It's so pretty. Every single cut line detail that comes through this, each one, that will concertina. And so that means that we can create that fan and it will pinch together and then we can bring it out so it'll have a flow line to it. I also just want to say while I'm here, hold on, let me see if I can find it. I mean, here we go. You see the lines, the arrow lines in the fan? 
Can we just see how they get mirrored in the dress? Nothing's wasted with carnation. That detail is so important. Mirroring out those little arrowheads, those lines, those diagonal lines, that visual impact, it's strong. We don't know it's there until, until we notice it, but it's really, really powerful. And we get the same sort of formation here with the shoes where you see those lines going forward, those very, very beautifully structured lines. And again, it's mirrored with the perfume bottle. So everything works. And that's why it works. And that's why it's different with Carnation <coughs> because those lines are thought about when the artwork is created. Moving along from that, we come to our cocktails. Miss Tiz Taz's absolute favorite, of course, because she is the cocktail girl. She doesn't know how to make them. See the wee arrowheads? This is what I'm saying, everything, it's important details that we take for granted with Carnation because we expect Nick and the team to come up with them nowadays, don't we? We just know it's there and we don't need to worry about it. But now we've seen that form through the different boards. You've got your straw, you've got your cocktail stick, you've got your little swirl of orange, you've got orange um, slices, you've got your full oranges, you've got your uh, little coffee bean details, you've got your leaves, you've got your olive, your bramble, all of that stuff coming through. And then they didn't disappoint either with the colorways. So you're not structured in one particular place instead of just giving us this color. <coughs> it could be different cocktails. Isn't that nice as well to have that element? And you can see those little arrow headlines coming through at the bottom of that glass to make it look like crystal. Really pretty. And how many cards can we make with just with that? Because suddenly we have got anniversaries, we've got weddings, we've got uh, birthdays, so many celebrations, new jobs, new home, everything coming through on that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. One of my favorites, look at this, I love this. That's such a really beautiful, beautiful die because it looks like there's movement in it. it, really does. It's got that sense of movement. Imagine having say four of those lined around and then having that fan in front of them. So you've got that sense of almost, like I say, the peacock, that, that sense of feathering and movement. And then these beautifully structured feathers that you've got here as well with that curvature coming down. And again, if you don't want that curvature, there is a cut line. You can see it coming through that little white line that allows you to just trim that off. So you get, we get to play with composition. Same as this curvature here, you can cut them away. If you want to just have the single feather, it's absolutely yours. Now, Carnation could theoretically have given you the single feather, charged you for that, and then given you the triple feather and charged you for that, but they didn't. They allow us, by giving those cut line details, they allow us to snip in a perfect way so that it doesn't look kind of in your face and wrong. Now we've got your sentiments, beautiful, beautiful sentiments, clever sentiments. And um, we talked about these yesterday, if you watched it, the base relief, which is, is where you have something that looks like it's protruding from the page. So if you imagine that was a piece of wood and we'd carved all the way around it, and that was protruding from it. That's what we've got. It's a 3D illusion of something that is in relief. So you've got time to party, celebrate, and fabulous friend, and they're done in such a clever way. Each one with its own mat so that we can raise that up and we can get shadow play, or it will sit quite nicely white on white as well. So if you were to place this on a white background, that will pop. It will really pop because it looks like it's coming away from the page. All three of them the same, and it's got that gold element that maybe it's shining from being polished, you know, polished metal, if you like. So that is the Golden Age collection, and you'll find it over on the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. You'll find it under the number 231201 at a show price today of 89.99. It will go back to 99.99 on Friday at midnight. If you were to buy each one individually, and which you can, yeah, it would cost 129.93. So your saving is always going to be in the bundle with Carnation, and they will always do you a value price on the day. Of of launch and during launch shows. Free UK, UK p, p with Carnation because anything over £50 is, they will pick, pack and post immediately and get it straight out to you. There is at the moment obviously some delays with postage because Christmas is a us. So it may not come to you the day after as it normally would. It might be a day or two. That's nothing unfortunately to do with Carnation. They have continued to distribute in the same way they always do, but we, we can only do so much. Uh, so please be patient with Royal Mail. They're doing their best and they have... A big job at this time of the year, don't they? 
fantastic, fantastic collection for you all. There is one more die, but it is not part of the main collection. However, it has sold so fast. You guys knew it the minute you saw it. You saw the value, you saw how gorgeous it is. And this is your Standing Tall Card Shapes die set, and you knew it. I knew you would know it because you're not daft. 231209 UK PMP if you buy it on its own. If you put it in with part of the main collection and with your perfect papers, of course, it'll have your free PMP. You've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, that's a showstopper if ever there was one. I don't know what you would call it, Miss Taz. Will there be a name for it? specifically i don't know maybe so if you guys at home know let me know but it is almost like a trophy isn't it like a stand like a um like a is it a lectern where you're where people do the things but it is absolutely stunning and so art deco it's so 1920s it's beautiful then you've got the stand and i love that because that's for any card they've even given you artwork for it though which is extraordinary but that will be on any card that's literally going to just any card you make in the future, nothing to do with this collection or any other, just whatever you want to make, that is a stand for you. And then this beautiful shape. And again, where we get those playways, you can shorten it just by cutting away. Those hinges are there for you to cut. You can double it, reflect it. So have another one that'll take you through. You can change the way it works altogether. There's loads of different ways of playing. Each one has its own um, sort of set of elements that go across. So this, you might not be able to see it so well, well but I do have a red. Can you see that, Taz, on your screen? Yeah. There is a red base here. So that's your main cut, but you've also got these extra elements that will allow you to place on top of here in a different color. You could do it in mirror card, and that's gonna make it shine. And then on top of here, you've got all of your different nested dies to bring through different apertures, different layers, different ways of playing. If you start to think of Carnation's Clean and Simple collection and uh, kind of transfer the idea of that into this, cut an aperture using that central piece and put some of the Art Deco paper behind it, that would be extraordinary. And if you were to do that with nested, um, sorry, your layered aperture with some of the different types of um, perfect papers, beautiful coming through, absolutely stunning. Create, create, create. The one thing we're never short of is ways of creating with Carnation. That's the standing tall card shape, but we've already, well, before we came to wear, there was already 75% of that gone. 60% of the main collection, this isn't gonna last. Um, we do go live with it on Hobby Maker on Wednesday as well. So if you're waiting for um, split pay with Hobby Maker, you absolutely can do that. Um, how long it'll last on there for, I have got no clue. It has been ridiculously popular. So I'm going to get to demo in a second. We are going to look at another couple of finished samples uh, and then we will get to demo for you so you can see this collection coming through. And it'll just give you a chance. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I can give them the old razzle dazzle while you do that. So yesterday when I was coughing, Miss Taz was muting me on the microphone. She said to me this morning, what am I going to do today? <laughs> and then she said, I'll put my microphone on. I'll sing to them in the corner. So that's what she may do later on. So let's have a look at, look at this. Aren't these just wonderful? Just gorgeous. Space out your designs. Use those beautiful colours, those golds and blacks. I love that top hat so much. I'm so smitten with that top hat. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now we've seen black and gold. Look at this. Look at that. Vibrancy. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Taz says that I should, she keeps telling me that I should send her a card with that sentiment on it. She's quite right. How beautiful is that? Golds, oranges and whites. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've always, always had a thing for orange and white. It pleases me no end. Soft tones. Very feminine, isn't it, that one? And if you think between the difference between the feminine and the masculine and how well that works, here's a card. I just want to put this next to this one. I'll be with you in one second, Miss Tiz Taz, but can I just do this? Hold on, look at those. From the feminine to the masculine. Pretty, right? Yeah, yes, Miss Tiz Taz. So, um, Sharon. Sharon's messaged. <gasps> um, Sharon, my Sharon. Sharon Sh Curtis. Sh Sharon, Sharon. Oh, and I love you, Sharon. 
to kind of coincide with what you're seeing on the telly, she said she loves the fact that you can go soft and pastel with this or go really bold and dramatic. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We do love Sharon. So you can see there the masculine to the feminine, those very, very um, dark tones, those very soft tones coming through. There is so many different ways. And part of the power of that is your perfect papers. What's wrong, Miss Taz? Is my microphone? What are you saying? <laughs> She's not paid enough to look after me, apparently. <clears throat> look at this. Showstoppers. Every one of them, isn't it? Have you guys at home seen one so far that is your favourite out of all of this inspiration? They're just extraordinary. The use of bringing things together, bringing through the different elements from the different cards. So having this structure here, those feathers behind to fan it all out. It, 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 every single one is a showstopper. They're all incredible cards. I want to just have a look at that standing tall card shape. Look at this with the, oh, it's got a floof on it. It's the small things that entertain me. Look at that. <laughs> right, that's currently my favorite. That's got a feather on it. Isn't that gorgeous? You can floof these right up. Beautiful card from Vera. I love this at the top. Isn't that, isn't that really eye-catching? Beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Right, two more and we're gonna to get to demo. Hey, oh. Look at that. Pair it right back, simple designs. And this one, which you'll all recognize, hopefully the card shape from this, because another one that has been so very popular with Carnation recently is the Clean and Simple. And there's such a powerful reason why. And that is a truly gorgeous example of how to bring your Clean and Simple collection in with this one because it works, right? It just works. Actually, I'm not sure there's anything that Clean and Simple won't work with, but that is extraordinary. I love that so much. Powerful collection, isn't it? It's got something really, really, it's breathtaking really is it's really stunning just such a privilege to work with this collection right let's have a look at demo and let's have a look at bringing some of this together so we can see it all working you can see different methods and how to do and then obviously when you get home you'll be able to play with it most of you will already have it well not most of you but a lot of you will already have it this morning so if you have received yours please do let us know um because it would be great to to know. So vignettes, what's a vignette? Well, it's a piece of artwork from Carnation Crafts. You get it on the website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. Head yourself over to the downloads tab and then click free downloads. And that's going to give you a set of, um, it's like a list on the right hand side. You can scroll down to collections and just either type in golden age or scroll for it. It'll be at the top at the minute. And it will bring you up with a low list of PDFs. So you'll get the insert papers, you're gonna get backing papers. And and then down at the bottom, usually it says the full collection. So golden age collection, original color, down way, download, and that's free. Add it to your basket and head yourself through checkout. And that will download to your computer where you can open the PDF with Adobe and you can print on high quality settings. I do mine on best quality settings. I also do mine on matte photo paper. I don't have the choice for glo uh, glossy. Some of you prefer to do it on glossy. And I always, always print on 120 Pro print paper. That's my specific preference. We're all a little bit different, but Pro print is gonna take your cards to the next level. Please don't forget it. Yes, Mr. Sub. Michaela's just said she's received hers. Michaela, that is exciting. We like that. We like that. And actually, that's especially with the postal stuff being what it is at the minute. That's she good, says, right? Thank you. Uh, amazing Carnation Crafts and Royal Mail. Yeah. I mean, huge kudos to Carnation, but huge kudos to Royal Mail as well. They don't have it easy this time of year, do they? Right. Let's stick a bit of this on here. I'm just sticking that together. I've folded it on the black line and that's going to allow me to create what's called a mirrored vignette. So I'll have an image on the back and I'll have an image on the front. 
and pop my die over the top of that and that is going to allow me to measure. Now just take one quick no uh, minute to realise that we've got that big bleed line there. If you've never cut a die before the metal is going to compress through the paper. We have an outline and that means that if I just happen to miss it by a millimetre or two it's going to be okay because it's going to just hold. I'm going to put that down at the bottom. It's um, removable low tack tape and that's going to allow it to stay in place while I cut it. Everybody's die cutting machines are different so you'll have to know your own plate formation. I barely know my own so I can't help you with yours I'm afraid. And so I'm just going to place this through here and that's going to cut so the, the metal is going to compress through my paper and it's going to create that image and cut it out for me. If you don't want to do what's called a mirrored vignette, Carnation will give you the option to do one that is single sided so it'll be white on the back. I never use the, those ones particularly, they're nice to have. Um, I know lots of you guys love your single sided, I just always do mine in mirrored because it means that as I cut them out and as I start to work with composition I don't need to worry about which way it's going to rotate. That cuts that straight out of that piece as you can see there and I'm left with the die with the image inside it. Now all of Carnation's dies have a release mechanism and that's usually a tiny little hole in the back and you can use your uh, pokey tool to just poke it out. With this one we don't need it because it obviously has those pieces here so it's open at the back and I can just peel that away. Watch the detail come through at the bottom all of those beautiful cut lines isn't that gorgeous and then I can turn it so it doesn't matter which way I turn any of my dies with carnation because I've got an image on both sides we loves we loves a mirrored vignette it's clever clever thinking Nick is a genius all right Let's do some demo work so you can see it come together. While I'm getting this out of this bag, just to remind you all that this collection is available for you today on the Carnation Crafts website, www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. The number for it is 231201, Golden Age Collection. Show price today of 89.99, free UK P and P. Um, but it is selling and it is selling fast, guys. Just to let you know, we have, well, when we came to air, we were all already over 60% and the standing tall one which you all seem to love very very much has already surpassed that at 75%. Make sure you get your perfect papers and hopefully you will all manage to get your copy of it. Good luck to you all. Poke it all. So that main card shape on the Orchid Rays card shape. I've cut it twice. You'll know exactly which die to use because it's the biggest one in the pack and it's going to cut this card shape for you. So in exactly the same way that I just cut the vignette, I'm using a 350 GSM card stock for this. We talked about this yesterday. These tabs that you've got, you can choose whether or not to have those tabs put, put together so I can fold this, for instance, inwards and fold the other the same and just please piece them together so the two tabs would kiss uh, and be glued together. I like to get rid of the bulk, but it is entirely a personal choice. The bulk will give you a little bit of an extra bridge when you open the card. It's up to you which way you prefer to do it. I'm gonna cut mine away just because I find it easier. Oh, I thought Miss Taz was about to say something there. She was in fact itching or scratching. Thanks. It's all right. <laughs> like to give those at home a visual. Right, so I've got this here. Now I find the easiest way because this is going to sit on top of this here. Now I can just do it by keeping those down, but because it's obviously the flap rises up, I'm gonna fight with that a little bit more than I want to. So I always find the easiest way with a stepper is to face them. So I'm gonna keep my red liner tape to the top on that one, and I'm gonna kiss these two together. And that's gonna make it easier for me as I place through so that I can do it without making too many mistakes. Just makes it easier. It's up to you guys, obviously, what you choose to do. It's just easier for me that way. So I'm just gonna place, I'm just gonna hold those two with my hand so I can place one at a time and keep them separate. Push. Same again here. And now I can think about the middle one. So the middle one is less of a problem. Um, it's the two on the outer because they're different heights. So I hope that helps somebody at home. I'm just gonna whip this out, Miss Taz, I can't grab it. There you go. There, I'm gonna piece that in. Fold, hold, and 
And now that I have got that, I can piece those two together, okay? So I've got this really beautiful, clean, clean card base. Pretty, right? Really, really pretty. Move those out of the way. Right, let's have a look at how we're going to form. I want to talk to you about those dark contrast colors so that we can work out how it is going together. So I've got this here where we've got the patterned paper. Isn't it pretty? And I've got the dark black to go on top. Now we can work independently on both. And what's really beautiful about this collection is my ability to get rid of that or to work solely in black and still put this on. Because effectively in my head, and I think in most people's head, you'd think if you had all of those white lines and then you were to add white filigree, that it would be a little bit blinding to the eye, but it works. It works really, really well. It's really prettily done. I'm gonna add the darker base because I'd want to talk to you about contrast uh, and how that works. And I want you to see the visual of the black coming through because I think it's really important. I've got a little piece stuck in here in my die. Just remember to just release all your bits and bats. I sometimes uh, miss the odd one or two. Cut tidy is going to help you enormously with that. So if you have cut tidy at home, when you're cutting filigree, it's always going to be your best friend. I'm going to release those tabs halfway, slip and slide so I get this where I want it to be, to about there. Oh, that's my tummy. I do apologize. Did you hear that? I'm sorry at home. That is my tummy. I'm going to pull these out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought an animal came in the room. <laughs> What's my tummy? <laughs> Place that onto there. Oh, you do make me laugh, Miss Tab. I'm going to put some glue <laughs> down here. And I'm going to use these. Whenever we're using carnations applicators, you can see the little tiny fuzzy on here. And the tiny, tiny fuzzy is really important for our crafting. Actually, that's a really nice background to use. They're really, really important because normally when we buy applicators, glue applicators, you get them often when you get false eyelashes. They've got a tiny little ball, so it'll be about half the length of this. And that ball is a little bit fatter and a little bit stubbier. Yes, we can still get fine, fine detail from them, but because we've got the longer wand to play with, it means that when we're focusing on something that is detailed as finely as that, I can still get adhesive where it's meant to be. When you've used them, just let them dry and then you can peel the glue off them and you can reuse them and that saves us putting plastic, obviously, again and again into the bin. So these will last you a good long while. That fuzzy is eventually going to come off though, so you will need to use them again. You get 100 applicators in each pack, so you've got enough to play with and you'll find those on the Carnation Crafts website. If you're grabbing those, I do advise you to grab the glue as well because the everyday glue is super low water content and it does help you stick things with instant ease which I like so tiny amounts of glue what's wrong Miss Taz no I was just gonna um, mention about the glue so obviously mm. my dad crafts at home he does um, Mr Flood used, is a crafter we use a variety of adhesive before I have genuinely never found a better glue than the everyday glue loads of people say that the everyday right carnation have got certain i mean loads of things that stand out above all else their everyday glue will as far as i'm concerned never be taken over by any other adhesive that i've used it is the best so are their applicators so is their foam mat for sculpting because it's really dense um and their pro print is like nobody else is in the industry nobody does pro print like carnation simple as nobody does it it it's the best in the industry um, and we are incredibly blessed for that i mean the thing is with carnation they're not just a dye company they are a craft store online as well so they provide us with loads of stuff i was looking the other day they've got um die cutting machines and all sorts on there it is a full craft store uh so excellent place to go and get all the bits and bats and your needs if you've got stuff that you would like for christmas but you would like to choose it yourself Please tell anyone who is willing to listen to you that Carnation have got gift vouchers on their website and they can come in either digital form or physical form. It doesn't matter which. It'll either come in digital form or physical form. If you're buying it for a present for somebody, you might prefer to have that physical form to actually gift in an envelope. Or if you fancy it, then you can have them via an email as well. Great, great presents though, right? Great presents. We'd be chuffed, wouldn't we, Miss Taz? 
Dad asked for one. Did he? Oh, did he? He's so talented, is Mr. Flood as well, so bless his cotton socks. Right, I'm placing these, that filigree is gorgeous, isn't it? So what I'm doing here, if I, I just want to talk to you about the contrast between using the filigree detail on those pattern papers against the black and the difference that we get in the visual impact. <coughs> Excuse me. And I love it very, very much, the play way that we get, because If I place this here, hey up, and stick. <coughs> I apologise. Sorry. Sorry, Taz. <laughs> so, what I want to talk to you about is the difference here, where you see the black coming through with that very striking white, and how we can soften those edges by using this at the back because it's got more white on it, so it's gonna soften it more. And I don't want this bit to be softened because this is my show-stopping element. This is my platform, this is my stage. But these two can have a visual softening because they're actually my periphery points. And I'm okay with my periphery points being soft, so long as I can keep that visual oomph that I want in the middle. So when you're playing with your perfect papers, just look at how you're visually going to alter what you do by using a difference in your side panel compared to your middle panels. And that'll just help you structure things in different ways. Um, and I love playing with those elements. I'm also gonna place these two here as well. And then I'm gonna to get to choose with this stepper card how deep I want that stepper to go. And we'll go through that process together. So you can see, I'm just gonna place this down. Now I'm probably going to put my filigree on these bottom pieces. I might not, I might leave it for you guys so you can see some with, some without, just so you get in the double visual. Um, I would be more inclined to do all of them, but if I leave these two and I don't put any filigree on them, you'll be able to see the balance come through as I push these stepper points down. So it's not, I've got the filigree here and I can place it, but I think it's important for you to get that visual point. So I'm gonna leave it as it is for now, just so you're seeing different values. For this stepper card, the reason this is so clever, there's a score line here and I can certainly push that down and push this one down. And you see how that fold, that Z fold comes in, all right? So I've got that beautiful Z fold. That lifts my stepper to that point so I get that mid fold to where that diamond is. And so I'm gonna have a short step. Now on this one, I'm gonna do the same on the back, just to bring this in so you can see it all come together. And I'm gonna have that short. And the other one, I'm gonna change it so you can see the difference in heights because I want you to see the difference, okay? Not necessarily that I would do it in this way, but just that I want you to see the different value. This one, I've got a midline structure here. You've got this on both sides and I can fold that and just score it and get it to where I want it to be so I can fold that in. And on that one, that now gives me the full oval at the top. I've still got the stepper, I've still got that place to put things and that visual change, but I've made that difference in height. So when I lay that flat, what you can see is my two different visual elements. So I've got more than one way of shaping a stepper and that, my friends, is super clever. You know what I think? Suddenly I can have one that's taller, I can have one that's more squat. It entirely it depends on where I'm going or how I want to craft. I can also cut one of those away or indeed two of them away and just use that center panel, which is stunning, isn't it? Really beautiful. Up to me again how I craft. For this demo, I'm gonna use the squatter pieces. So I am gonna fold that back in on itself, same as at the bottom, so that I've got that different visual piece. But I did want to show you the different heights so you can see it. Hey, I've caused myself to go on the wonky and I'll miss Taz. There we go. So now I've got those elements coming through. It's beautiful, isn't it? Church window almost, that could be literally a church window. In order to fan out, I've brought two of my fans in and I think I'm gonna place those on my back elements and watch how those gold tones are enriched by the dark tones and those whites behind it. Now, if I was to put white on white with this, that would also work in a really vibrant way. And to talk about carnation in its most basic forms, if I just add, let's just take this away a minute so you can visualize. If I add the fan in here, and I've got that golden fe <coughs> feather sitting, so it sits right upon the middle point, okay? And then I was to add in, I don't know, let's just say I add in just the top hat at a jaunty angle. 
I've suddenly created a very beautiful card and that is zero effort on my part because once I've laid through those mats and layers and I've thought through that process, and that's my first building block. Once I've done that, the artwork with Carnation is so strong, it doesn't really matter where you place it. Yes, we can get into composition and it's the beautiful place to be as composition. But the point being is with very little effort, we can start to try and change that up and, and alter how we work. The top hat itself, for instance, just sitting in that white space is beautiful. And I can simply turn this around, add in another, overlap it so that I get that lovely shape in and add the top hat. If I was to put that on foam tape and raise it, we've got something incredible, right? So small, small playways. Yes, Miss Tisdats. Right, this is gonna be a silly question. There's no silly questions. There's, could you almost manipulate the fan to make a bow tie? Yeah, you'd need two of them. It would be a big bow tie. Well, or like snip, snip bits. You'll hurt my brain now. So if I, well, it would be huge. It'd be like a moustache. Yeah, but I'm just... I don't mean on the actual mannequin. <laughs> I, I mean, like, to kind of pair with the top hat, you know, the grand nature of it. Well, let's experiment. If I was to cut this down here... I'm trying to visualise a, a bow tie in my head. Cut this down here. So I've got the two pieces. Where's my mannequin? Bow tie looks like that. So we would piece in those two centre points. If you wanted to do that, my advice would be to trim. Let's try that point first. Trim this and trim that. Same on t'other. Or you could use the smaller arrowheads that are in this fan and piece them together. So you would get, and then you would just put a little band of paper. So yeah, you could create, you could create from that. So that, thank you for the diversion, Ms. Ms. Tizdaz. So there you go. Yes, we can absolutely create from that. Now I'm gonna use these two and I will just cover up where I just snipped by placing these at the bottom. So I've got that beautiful fan line and I'm not gonna shape them. Now I can shape them and I can concertina them and <coughs> I'll concertina the top one so you can see it at home, just in case you missed yesterday's shows, just so that you can see that shaping out. So you've got all of the info you need when you get this home into your wonderful, wonderful pause. Just, that's your concertina. And then like a real fan, and these remind me of when I was in Spain as a child. They just open out, okay? Pretty, right? Really pretty. And you can use that in so many different ways. There's a lot of stuff we can do with that. For this particular demo, I don't really want it to be fanned out in that way. Um, I will do one with and sort of flatten it a little bit, just so you can see the difference in the visuals. So this isn't really what we would class, or I would class as my absolute finishing, but actually I can't, my brain won't let me. Hold on, let me just concertina this as well and it's gonna be short. Sorry guys, my brain's not gonna let me do that. Hold on, there we go, right. I'll pull this out and pull this and place them there. So I've got that half point and it looks like a ballerina dress. So you've got the idea of that almost flow line, haven't you? That, that movement that comes through. And I'm gonna put some glue on these. Now I'm gonna use um, silicone gel glue on this. And the reason being is, I, well, are two choices. I can either put wet glue on those points or I can use silicone gel. And I'm gonna use that to fill it and to just raise the height just that little bit. Place in, leave it because I don't know where my end point is. I need to get the same one here. I'm not committing to it. It looks like a butterfly. I'm not going to commit to anything. I'm just going to place on. Okay, now that I'm happy that it's that central position, I'm okay with that. That's going to ground me out and it's going to frame everything that I need. I'm just beautifully feathering this out because they're so pretty, these feathers, a little bit of texture will do no harm. So just using that stem that we've got from the feather, just placing that in. I need wet glue for this, there's too many openings. If I use silicone gel glue, it's gonna poke through. So just small amounts. And I'm gonna feather diagonally, those diagonals, visual 
extras just to widen out, widen out the bottom of that or the midline of that card shape. Placing through just there and that should be about balanced in that central point. You see those gold lines coming through. We've created that visual V with those gold lines that we're getting and we need for just pretty, pretty composition. Now I've got this wee chap here and he is all set. I'm just gonna fold him back slightly on his curvature lines and I'm gonna use the foam tape that I've got as my framing point, my framing device. Now the great thing about that is because my foam tape is just as deep as his arm there, I can fold that right back to give him that idea of the rotund without actually going to town on him himself. So I get to uh, just shape out using my foam tape on a five mil to give me that extra ump. Grounding him out on those fan bases, placing him down for those masculine tones, that straight, beautiful, regal line. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I visually want to break that up slightly. <coughs> so I'm gonna use the cane. Oh, she says if I don't drop it. And I'm gonna lay it across. And it's gonna go across his body. I'm gonna get that visual. And that's gonna help with that filigree at the back. Just give me an extra visual cue to look at the filigree and to understand it. Because we're gonna go in line with that geometry. Okay, so we're getting that finished element, but it wouldn't be finished properly, would it now? If we did not have those gorgeous shoes and that gorgeous hot top hat, and I'm gonna do those on a slight angle, and I'm just gonna push and pull just to shape this a little bit. I'm not going to town. I'm just shaping out, just wiggle and a jiggle. Fill that with my silicon gel glue. Place that way. Gentle push. We've got dimension, we've got shadows coming through. You can see it lifting and that's just a wiggle and a jiggle and then either some foam tape or that gel glue. Same with the shoes. Angle them out so we've got a matching periphery. Move all my gubbins to the side so that you've got a clean visual. Simple card making. Pretty, right? Really pretty. Really, really lovely. Today's collection is called Golden Age. You've got one last live show to come to us to watch this in action. We'll have more demos for you at 12 o'clock. The number for this is 231201. It's the Golden Age collection from Carnation Crafts. It's 89.99 today. It will go back to 99.99 on Friday at midnight. So you have only got a couple of days at this price. Combined price, if you wanted to buy in the individuals on their own, and I don't know why you would, but if you did just want to buy the individuals as a whole, it's gonna to come to 129.93. Please don't forget to put your perfect paper, papers into your basket as well, because that's gonna just give you this really gorgeous, sumptuous finish that you're gonna absolutely love. You'll find the perfect papers as well on the Carnation website. They're on 231210, 14.99 show price today. If you just buy those on their own, it's going to have a 295 UKP and P. Um, but if you're also buying, for instance, the standing tall card shape, I don't know if that would come to the right amount or not. No, my brain's saying probably not. Uh, but the standing tall card shape, although I don't know that there's many left of this, by the way, that's 231209. This Taz is pointing at me and telling me to do the things. Uh, 231209, pop that into your basket as well. That's flying. I, there's not going to be many of that left. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's many of anything left at this point. So it's, we'll come back with bare bones, but we are going to be back at 12 o'clock. We're going to do more demos for you, show you more samples and have a lovely time. So please do enjoy your lunch and we will see you in an hour. Take care till then. Bye.